Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Behind the Likes. I'm Winter. And I'm Shy. And this is Rhythm. Big Red. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, so just a little, uh, what is it, disclaimer. Sometimes you guys think that when we have guests on, we're interviewing people. We're not interviewers. When we have people on this podcast, it's because we're having just a little chat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're having a little combo. We not we didn't go to journalism school. Yeah. Cuz some not, people they in the comments they'll be like you ask, you need to ask these questions in an interview like this. Baby, this ain't no interview. But Rhythms in Town, we brought her on the pod. We're going to have some girl chat and some just girl time. Just some little talk. I'm excited. Why are you here, Rhythm? Why am I here? <laughs> like in LA? Why are you gay? <laughs> First of all, I got surprised. Yeah. Winter called me and was like, um, I have a surprise for you. I'm thinking like she's about to bring me food or something. I'm crying. I'm like, what's the surprise? She's like, you're going to be on the pod. I was like, oh, God. Yeah. I mean, you watch all the episodes. Yeah, though, right? I have watched all the episodes. She's very supportive. We so. love a good supporter. Yeah. I love it all. Dude, how they, do you feel I'm not gonna lie, they be eating y'all up. <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> We're not even paying attention to them negative That's comments good. anymore. It's all literally about just positivity and what the what they what they bring positively to mm -hmm. our platform because I'm not dealing with that no more. Yeah. yeah. I'll go insane. I'm not even gonna entertain them with the y'all see which is funny though like, cause I be the main one right. which is funny <laughs> that she's saying this but I'm saying this on this platform I say it to you because I don't want them to like feed it I don't want them to feel like they're doing their job which they are but I don't want I don't want to engage with that I don't want to engage you guys with that. last episode when we had Heather on this podcast Shy calls me the next like I don't know I just feel like I need to be classier and like I need to just shut up sometimes cause you know Heather's so soft spoken and so just like a cute I little I was trying to have a whole new rebrand I was like I need to be a whole new woman I, I said know. girl Girl, just be yourself. That's why they love you. Like, what yeah. do you mean? You're crazy. I'm also like, and look, somebody, I, somebody, I posted on my story, and there was somebody at demon was like, Heather also has three kids, and she has a whole man. She was like, they were like, we love you for who you are. I'm like, they be putting me in check. The same minute they be telling me not to be in it. Yeah, but I mean, whatever. We don't give a shit. Yeah, no, we appreciate all the positive comments. We do. I feedback. love that. We love to love. So is that why you were nervous to be on here? Because you know that, that we do be getting negative? No, I was actually nervous because I have a hard time translating, like, my thoughts into words. Mm -hmm. And Girl, I feel me too. like, yeah, it's yeah. hard. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm like, do I need to read more? Like, do I need to broaden my vocabulary or something? Like, why can't I? And sometimes I, when I get nervous, I forget how to speak. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, it's... Look, yeah. Which is funny because <laughs> Rhythm is a, such a good speaker and she's hella you think smart. So? Yeah. Oh, and you're so smart. You're so pretty. And she also speaks. <laughs> yeah, I speak multiple three languages. languages. Three languages. Yeah. Anybody who's bilingual is smart. To Trilingual. Oh, Trilingual. Tell good. them, what do you speak? I speak Espanol, e? Japanese, yeah. and English. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? She speaks Japanese. She's Japanese, y'all, and not the not the watered down kind. She's the real Japanese. <laughs> yeah, my mama don't play. Yeah. You be, do you get annoyed when people be like, say something? Yes, because it's like, what do you want me to say? Can you say something? <laughs> Just have her call her mama. She's going to be in there like, hello, mommy. Yeah, my mom, she don't shut up. So. You a Harajuku Barbie? <laughs> shut I think that's racist, Shy. <laughs> Shit. Harajuku Barbie? I definitely Barbie. am. See? I'm crying. Big Harajuku like, Barbie. She's kawaii. Doesn't that so, mean cute? Kawaii. But yeah, you kawaii. are here. Are you moving? Are you moving to L.A.? Girl, who knows? At this yeah. point, I just feel like so much has been happening in my life the past few weeks. So I'm just like, we're just we're just gonna see what the universe got in, in its yeah. back pocket. Wait, so for it's me. not that's not in the because last time y'all spoke, it was for yeah. Sure. Last yeah. time we spoke, it was official, but Mercury and Gatorade dragged me through the mud. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't know what's happening right now i i literally have no idea i, don't I was know. so excited yeah, yeah she was she caught she guess what i don't want to spill it too soon <laughs> she's yeah. like I, you're not gonna be sick of me anymore <laughs> no i really thought it was like official but you know shit happens we'll see yeah. I, I mean, I still have fingers crossed that Rhythm's going to move to L.A. So I think happened? that you even shit get hard, but I still would say come to L.A. You know what? I got a reading, so I'm like, and oh, she, my goodness. She was like, L.A. is not it right now. Really? So, yeah. But did you tell her all the problems that was already arising? I told her some of it, and she was like, yeah, it's just not. 
Because I couldn't decipher whether these were all signs that I shouldn't move mm -hmm. or if these were all tests. Okay, what mm -hmm. were the signs? I'm I'm in the dark here, just like y'all. Because they're going to be like, what were the signs? Yeah, I know everything. What is everything? Oh, you don't have to go into detail, but just like go into detail. <laughs> <laughs> as much as you will. So I pretty much got like a job offer, got hired, worked, and then last she was last minute. Like I don't have the mental capacity to hire someone right now, pretty yeah. much. So. 12 hours before her flight to L.A., the yeah. lady was like, actually, never mind. Yeah, so, I mean, oh, that and there's been a couple other things, too, but, What's yeah, the other thing? just a bunch of other shit. What is, wait, let me think uh, what is the other about shit. About what, oh, what you're, shy? That Sorry. was a lot. She's been burping no, and burping since we got here. No, but why are your burps, like, so long, though? You know what it is? I used to could do the ABCs and burps. Okay, but that's not why <laughs> they're so, Stop! <laughs> That's not, didn't you just last episode say, I really need to start being more of a lady. Next episode, you're you burping the alphabet. Nah. I thought we wanted to be better for try? us. <laughs> Girl, your mama she, has a, she has a problem. We think that she's gluten intolerant or something. Yeah, I know. I need to figure it out. I need to figure Her it out. Her stomach be six months pregnant sometimes. Wait, watch this, y'all. No, I think I do too, though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's so ugly. Why is it so fast? <laughs> That looks like a earthquake. I'm a belly dancer. <laughs> You're so <laughs> ugly. I hate you. Any freaking oh, way. Oh, no, that ass looking fat, though. Oh, I'll get up again for that one. <laughs> Y'all? No, I'm just kidding. Wait, so that was the main thing. Honestly, I'm not going to yeah. lie to you. That would turn me around, too. Somebody telling me they're not going to hire me no more. What you mean? Yeah, yeah I mean, I was, I was confident, and I still wanted to, like, look for other jobs, but, I mean... It's just so much shit happening. It's yeah. like, yeah. I don't know. I'm just going to take it as a sign for I now. I mean, of course I want you here, but I also love having you be in Miami so that every time I yeah. go to Miami, I can hang out with you. Exactly. I got somewhere to stay if I want to. Like, yeah. I'm like, whatever. How often are you going to be in Miami? I be coming to Miami. <laughs> kind of. Mm -hmm. You don't come that Sometimes often, I but. have my, like, months where I'll come, like, a couple times, and then it'll be, like, months and months that I don't go. Mm -hmm. So sometimes yeah. it'll just be, like, you know. A lot of people are low-key moving to Miami. Is the, is the rent? They are. It is. Is the rent more expensive? I mean, the rent, the rent is obviously less expensive, but I heard it's getting up there, No, right? it's getting no, up. They, I had to move out of my last place because they wanted to up it $1,000. Yeah. That's just normal. Because. It's That's getting up crazy. to LA prices because remember, I was like, I'm moving to Miami for sure. Yeah. And then I was looking at places and mm. I was like, I ain't paying the same LA prices yeah, to no. live in Miami. She be trying to move every three months. I'm telling she be <laughs> yeah, like, no. I'm just going to restart and dump on me. Yeah. You're going to restart my life. And I know. She and like, I only got one friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she does say that. And it seems like she's so serious, too, because she'll Yo. really look at places. Yeah. Come to Miami, tour a place. I'll yeah. be like, oh, she's really moving. Now, and I then... really be ready to do it, but then I just be like, I think that, like, looking at places in Miami, I've looked out there a couple of times, and, like, just my place now is so mm. fire that it's like, if I'm not going to get yeah. something as fire in Miami, yeah. For even cheaper, though, because the location is not even, like, mm -hmm. I'm not moving. I can't give my spot up in L.A. right no. now. Yeah. It's hard you to shouldn't. find a spot it like is. mine, bitch. It like, is. Nah, your place is fire. I got a gem in L.A., yeah. like, honestly. Which is why even after the stalker situation, I was like, I ain't moving. I'm getting a gun. I yeah. got to stay where I'm at. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I want a gun, too. I'm not going to lie to you. I do, too. Yeah. I really do. I want a pink one. I know. Me, too. <laughs> we, you, that's the law to carry. I was actually wanted to move to I, you know what I mean I say this all the time I say this yeah. like every, every day every day I've been yeah. saying it every day for a while now but I've been in my apartment for like five years and I'm just so comfortable there winter says all the time it's like a little home mm -hmm. it really is just homey like I've made yeah. it my like you know humble little boat but I'm just like I need a little bit of luxury in my life I can afford yeah. it I want to mm -hmm. just I want an apartment with the gym and yeah. I don't I get pissed off every day I walk in there and I see that popcorn ceiling I just be getting upset <laughs> yeah I, but I be having to remember <laughs> I, I, I hate yeah. the popcorn ceiling, but I love that place though. I, I don't have no roaches. I got parking. Yeah. I got, it, but I have a washer and dryer in the back. I don't have no washer. Dryer. I'm like, I can't afford. What you mean in the back? Like you got a walk. house. I got to walk. <laughs> Look, once it get laid out, I don't go. To, I don't go. I don't do it. The laundry is I'm over. I'm gonna get it tomorrow. Once the, the night <laughs> goes Look. out, yeah. But I don't have any problems. Mm -hmm. It's like a like a what's it called? Quad. Uh, like a little complex, Com like a mm. small complex. It's like two. It's four across from me, four where I'm at, and then two mm. in the back. So it's like a little quaint little community. Mm, yeah, and I love it. I have no problems there. I used to love my landlord until he sold it to somebody else, and they don't even bother me at all. 
Oh yeah, he used to be over at the house. Y'all. He used to be over there hanging out, hanging <laughs> out, chilling <laughs> tea, spilling tea. One time, I, I was getting my um, something fixed, and he, it was early in the morning. He was like, "You want to go get breakfast?" He was rushing. Oh. I was like, "Yeah, let's go. Let's go." <laughs> you other know, guy. Shy, so damn friendly. What she do can you make guys even with talk about? I don't know. We just talk about anything. <laughs> but so I, I say this all the time. But I'm like, now I really am going to move. I'm okay. like, I want to move. I deserve the good life. Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying. It. I want leisure. In my I'm life. surprised you didn't move after. The incident that happened at your house. I did. Oh, Why yeah, you, you always said it was too. I always forget yeah. when this incident was because Shy tells me this story and then I'll go to her house and sleep over and I'll be scared like this is where it happened. Okay, no, what's no? The but it's a different house, I guess. Like it's a way older different house. This is a whole different thing. So <laughs> since we're talking about getting since guns, you're talking about, yeah. So a long time ago, probably like I've been there five years. So probably tell them who was at your house. Who? Well, it happened. Sabrina? Yeah. Shut up, you fucking. <laughs> yeah. Insider. Just a little inside joke. I was gay one time. <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting that. I'm thinking it's an old friend. She said I was gay. One. No, no, no. She, she was just. <laughs> all right. Anyway. I wasn't going to say all the exactly. details. But anyways, so literally, I get that. I hate that anyways. And I get it from you now. Anyways. Anyway. You do. I you say that all the time. time. Like, shut up. <laughs> no, and anyways. I, I listen to myself say it, and I'm like, well, I'm saying anyways to change the subject, but I'm like, is that rude? Like, Low that key. comes off as rude. Like, <laughs> anyways. Yeah. But I swear to God, yeah. I don't try. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not trying to. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Go back to the damn story, okay? <laughs> and it's not a funny story at all, y'all. It's not. So, it's literally, serious. so I moved here five years ago, but mm-hmm. moved back five years ago. But the reason why I went back to Louisiana was because someone broke into my apartment while I was sleeping and was staring over me. A man. A man. And and all literally it's not funny, but what the f- It was the scariest thing ever. And you know why it was so scary? It was because I like that was it was the same kind of like setup building. It was like a small little apartment complex as well. On the first floor. Had my homegirl over. She was not in the same bed with me. She was sleeping on the couch. Oh, I thought she was in the bed. No, she was sleeping oh. on the couch. But we cause she was in between like apartments. At oh, the she, time. So she she really was just okay. staying there, like in between. Yeah, she didn't know the story. But, I thought she was just sleeping, spending the night or something. Mm-hmm. She was, but no, she was staying there for like two weeks. Oh, probably like two weeks thing. So we had like cooked, like we were watching a movie. I remember, I remember like it was yesterday. The like we were like, all right, we're about to go to sleep. We left the window open. Mm-hmm. Well, she left the window open. Was the screen on? Um, the screen was on. He took the screen off. The man took the screen off. He walked in my apartment. Like he took the screen door off. Walk, like climbed in my apartment and I felt like I you know how you just feel something over you like mm-hmm. you just feel you just feel the energy so I wake up and I'm just like hello like I'm confused right and this is when I was sleeping butt ass naked mm-hmm. and were you thinking it was her maybe like- I didn't it, it was like a big black figure <clears throat> like it was like a big like not black man but it was like a black you I wouldn't be able to tell like what race it was it was just yeah. like a big yeah. black like shadow yeah. yeah so I wake up and I'm like <gasps> right. So I'm confused. I'm like, I'm like, Sabrina. I'm like, hello. <laughs> so I start yelling. The man runs. So I, at this time, at my last, at the last apartment, I had a back door. So I'm like, he ran out the back door. And this is the funny part about. So this. he ran when you screamed. He ran when I screamed, but he was just staring over me. The funny part about this story, nothing is really funny, but mm-hmm. I can always find humor in something. I was butt naked and I screamed a scrimp so loud. <laughs> I would never be able to recreate that a day in my life. It was like, <sighs> it was like gut wrenching. Like it was like, curse. That's scary. but I screamed. I got. I ran up. I was butt naked, and you know how your door. Like I'm trying to get help from all of my neighbors, so I'm butt naked. Stop saying butt naked. I'm butt naked, <laughs> opening and closing the door, like help, help, making all the noises possible, yeah. so somebody can come out. You know, none of them bitches came out to see if anything was wrong. So literally, oh my goodness. me and Sabrina are just like, we're scared shitless at this did point. Did she we're, see the guy run out? Or she anything? did. She, she did? She was just like, shy? She, like, she's thinking it was, like, we just both were confused right. the whole time. So he ran out the bed. So it, him knowing that a back door was in my place mm. and knowing that we turned our lights out like 20 minutes mm-hmm. ago. Yeah. Like, I was, like, it wasn't even a deep, deep like sleep. Like, fa- mm-hmm. fresh fell asleep. Fresh fell asleep, like, was yeah. watching me. And to see that, like, no, I felt like he was just in there touching shit. Like, <gasps> oh, man. <laughs> I just don't know. And, like, we called the police. We dusted, seen the fingerprints, have yeah. a police report. What? All that. They dusted for fingerprints? D- they bitch? had fingerprints on the thing. 
Like literally, it was full. And they were never. They were never able to match. Never it. able to match anything. And I never stayed another day in that apartment. I literally left that same day. The next day, like my uncle. And aunt helped me like I, I literally was not playing no games. Oh, I, would, I literally I wouldn't booked, have been playing. Yeah, yeah, and my, uh, my ex, who was my boyfriend at the time, he was living in Louisiana, and he was like, "I can't protect you from there." I was like, "I'm coming back. I'm you coming home I'm to you." Yeah. So I literally left like t- three days later. I booked a flight. I was like, "I don't care about all my shit. I'm putting it in." I'm just like, "I'm gonna come back eventually." Yeah. So that's terrifying. I would yeah. be so scared. I mean, shit, just all of that. Like uh, that could have gone so left, and like you know everything that's yeah. been going on in LA, especially now. I mean, I don't know if you guys have seen the news, but two girls within blocks of each other in downtown LA found murdered, mm-hmm. and these are both two models, two black girls, all pretty. within the same age range. Yeah, same mm-hmm. age range, like thirty-one like, and thirty-two. Bad bitch. Like yeah. cute girls, and literally the second girl who just was murdered two blocks away from my old house off Grand. She was on Grand and Eighth in that place mm-hmm. above Whole Foods. I used to go to that Whole Foods all the damn time. And and, I, and it makes me. The, oh wait, you stayed down. I, I remember I used to stay at the Orsini. Yeah, I stayed oh, yeah, there. Stayed there. Yeah. That's how we remember when we would see each other on remember, the elevator. I remember <laughs> years ago, like when me and Shy. Remember how we tell you guys all the time we knew of each other for mm-hmm. many years, so we would see each other in the Orsini, be like, hey. Hey, girl. Didn't know we were soulmates at wow. the time, passing in time. But it happened you know. when it needed to. But, <laughs> <laughs> but no, it was, I um, I didn't know, I, so you moved somewhere else too? Yeah, I lived in, a, when I moved back from Atlanta, I lived in downtown for another two years. Oh, okay. So this is like, I don't know, 2019 or some shit. No, 2018, 19 that I lived in downtown. Were you by yourself? No, I lived with my old friend and mm-hmm. then I got a, a roommate because she had to move out and I got a roommate that I met at a pool party. Mm-hmm. She ended up being a prostitute who used to walk the blade and she was You're dirty lying. as hell and would oh get out of the shower and drip her period blood on my <gasps> damn floor. Oh, that's I'm not going to lie That's another after, story, y'all. After like the last two days, I'm going to be wearing the panties. Okay. All right. <laughs> Anyways, back to the damn subject. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> we're talking about, we're so far <laughs> off. We're on the subject of that's just crazy because really, it's crazy. People in this mm. world, like, that is just, I'm sorry, it's just wild. And it's dangerous to live by yourself. That's why I was like, mm-hmm. I didn't know you lived downtown. Because I stayed with my ex-boyfriend at the time when I was living at the Rossini mm-hmm. yeah. downtown. But downtown is known for, crazy Skid Row is yeah, right next yeah. to it. Like, you know, Skid Row's right there. There's a lot of just, like... People are more comfortable to walk around freely in the neighborhood. Yeah. So you don't. So I'm like, is it a? Would it be an inside job because they let them in that apartment? It is. Hard. They live in nice apartments. Those two yeah. girls. So it's like they those do are have not to have cheap. Dormant, they're not you know cheap apartments. Saying? They're not. So I feel like they're two models. I'm like, this is me. My conspiracies. Mm-hmm. I think it's somebody in the industry. I think it's either a photographer, mm-hmm. somebody. Either I was trying, thinking that too. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody who you trust, somebody that mm-hmm. you'll let into your house, somebody you wouldn't think exactly. would be a weirdo or some shit. And you know, and I told you that. Remember, I told you a long time ago. I told Winter, I was like, I wasn't in high school. I wasn't watching like Bad Girls Clubs. I was literally watching like Criminal Minds, NCIS. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. I love stories, shows like that. When that man broke into my apartment, I have not been able to like. Watch I can't watch it on my own because mm-hmm. it's really like real. It yeah. really is real shit. You know. Yeah. So it's just difficult. Yeah. Even going downtown feels so dark, though. Yeah. Mm Because you be staying downtown sometimes when you're out here. Yeah. It's so dark. I don't like like being there. People who are not from L.A., they have this idea of L.A. in their mind, and then they come downtown, Mm -hmm. and they see what really is going on out here, and it is like a epidemic like it's sad to see it we it's literally like sometimes we like joke about it but it's crazy it is crazy it's It's scary because okay I've lived in New York most of my life and I've been around a lot of homeless people but Mm -hmm. LA is different and the biggest difference I think is in LA they'll actually bother you yeah I was with my friend and somebody went (laughs) spit on her in front of us we were like freaking the out yes like, I will, they I'm will not bother gonna, you. They will. I was in a Wendy's drive through one time. This is right here in Hollywood, though, not downtown. I was in a Wendy's drive through My f-ing car door was unlocked. This guy walks up <gasps> to my door and tries to open my car door. And I slam that shit closed and lock. And I'm like, get the f- away from my goddamn car. Like, some random crazy guy. Like, Hollyweird. I have, Holly I have a video on my page. If you go all the way down to the end of my page, you will see on Instagram, you will see oh. this man harassing me. Literally in the middle of the street. I you see that video? I'm like, oh, I don't know what to do. Yeah. I'm like, why? And I remember the other homeless guy, well, and this was in North Hollywood. He was smoking crack in the in the um bank. That's why she is the way she is. Because that day she was at the bank, she got secondhand crack. I remember, I remember that 
she made a friend with the girl that was at the bank, right? Yeah. And the and and he was so nice. He was like, I just want my money. <laughs> Smoking crack, having a I good day. Literally having a great day. And look, and the man was like, those ladies don't want to smell that crack. He was like, they can't even smell it. Can you smell it? And, I, and that was the day I found out you cannot smell crack. I oh. thought you can't. I thought crack had It does not, gas. It does not yeah. have a scent. It yeah. does not have a scent. I did hear that. He was, and he was like, don't got no scent. I was like, you're right. It does. <laughs> Not you, right? I'm just <laughs> Let me just sniff it up, why don't I? I gotta do a little crack. Actually, you know what? I do think about things like that. Like, how do people just do crack for the first time? Like, I don't get that. Like, how do you just do crack for the first time? Like, I understand cocaine for the first time because that's like a party drug. Mm -hmm. It's like, come on, guys, we're all just mm -hmm. trying it. But specifically, crack. You see so many damn crackheads on them damn streets, and you're like, I never want to be a crackhead on the street. Mm -hmm. What makes you turn? to crack out of all the things. You could have just been an alcoholic, but bitch, crack? That's a low point. I feel like it happens to people who are extra vulnerable. You yeah. think so? And like, if they're around it, like if their friends do yeah. it already, mm, yeah. or family, yeah. or if they were mm. already crack babies. That actually is true because when I was a stripper, I remember this man casually busting out meth and snorting it. I and I was like, why are you casually snorting meth? And then I could have just fallen victim, like, okay, I'll try it. I don't Hell know. You know. Hell no, we're trying yeah. Girl, I would never. I I'll just shoot it up. No, that's heroin. I think that's oh. heroin. We're so getting our drugs wrong. What's meth? <laughs> meth like, is, is it like little rocks? I think it's crystalline. The only reason why I know that is because I had a neighbor one time. We had a she crack house it. next to my mom's <laughs> house. And he was like, can you hold this for me? And it was a bag full of oh, meth. Oh, that's why they say crystal meth. Yeah, okay. it was like crystallized stuff. And I was mm. holding it for this guy next door. I'm not knowing I'm holding a freaking sack of meth. And then oh my, my mom was in my room and was like, what the hell? And I was like, the neighbor gave this to me to hold. Bitch, I was in high school, y'all. Oh I was so I, It was a crack house next door. To hey, my I, house. Hey, hold this for me. All right. <laughs> okay. Girl. I got offered meth. Um, what? When I was bartending. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's random. It's so I got good. offered meth one time. Uh, I was bartending, and the bar back was like, yeah, hey, I got some meth. I was like. Uh, and just used the word meth? Just, Not even yeah, a code yeah, like, word? Yeah, it was just like. And just showed it to me. I was like, uh, I'm actually all right. Not even I was a like, But word. I was like, you, you're good, baby. Do what you want to do. I swear, I've never seen my glasses cleaner. I was like, he needs to do meth every single day. Oh, he was in there. He was in there. <laughs> oh, my. Girl, I used to have a freaking auntie who was a meth head, and I would sleep over at her house, and she would be like, come on, y'all. We got to go to Walmart right now. It would be like 3 a.m. in the morning, bitch. Me and my cousin would get up and have to be in Walmart. And my mom used to be like, I don't want you sleeping over there. And I'd be like, why? We have so much fun. Bitch, she was on meth. Like, yeah. no, you don't need to be I'm over sure there. I'm sure you had a blast. I remember Walmart, 24-hour Walmart. Yes, was that was 24-hour Walmart, mm -hmm. y'all. That was I used to be getting a time. Meth. Wait, speaking of meth. And, like, living alone as a woman, I actually have a story. What? what? So, it didn't happen to me. It happened to, like, a friend of mine. So, basically, she was just living in this apartment in New York. And she started to notice that there was, like, this weird scent in her bed. And so, she was like, what the f***? Like, I live alone. Like, right. what? And what would this be? Like, I didn't do anything last <laughs> night. So like this was going on for a couple months. So she months. decided, yeah, she decided to get a camera, <clears throat> hid it in her room. Why was her landlord having sex in her bed with two na like women, homeless women off the street doing meth in her bed what? while she was not home? So she was like, you know what? I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna extort him. She got like a couple years free rent or something. <clears throat> what? I imagine that happening to you in your that fucking is bed? Yes. <clears throat> Like, oh my God, I'm sorry, that's disgusting. She was like, it was smelling crazy. Like, probably like homeless people. Yeah. That is such an invasion of my pride. Like, of just, oh, I would feel just, yeah. she, she was able to stay there after that. She, she yeah. got her a couple she, free years couple rent in New York, yeah. you know. It sometimes is. you got to take it on the chin for some free rent, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> she was like, don't ever do that again. And then don't she was like, <laughs> he was like, all right, I'm going to do it cool. to the neighbor. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's really what was going on. But that no, is, I hear that's actually common. That happens to a lot of people. You never seen that Korean movie where the uh, people were living in the rich oh, yep. person's mansion? Pa isn't that Parasite? Yes, yeah, Parasite. That, yeah. You never watched that movie? Yeah. That shit is crazy. It's a really good movie. You should watch it. They but were living in the f***ing like, basement dungeon you for years. You with everything. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> Bitch, you. What the f***? <laughs> Look, Don't regulate. And my calculator hit 
it. I'm like, another one I got to edit out. First of all, I don't even <laughs> ask her to edit out these curse words. I, we, we just talked about this earlier. She goes, okay, you edit this episode. I said, I have no problem editing episodes. She is a crackhead and literally will be up until 4 a.m. I don't even ask her to do this. She'll be like, yeah, well, I already edited out all the curse words because I couldn't sleep. And I'm like, okay, girl. She didn't bring that to my attention. I was like, I forgot that I did I don't that. even <laughs> ask her to do it. I have no problem I editing. I'm bored. You remember when Exactly. I, in the middle of me being drunk, I sent you a meme at like 5 o'clock because I woke up. Girl. She slept over at my house. I'm telling you, this is how weird she is. She slept over at my house. She's blacked out drunk. I wake up at 7 in the morning, look over at her peacefully. She's knocked out. Probably hasn't. She looks like she hasn't been up in days. I check Instagram. She sent me a DM an hour before I woke up. I'm like, what were you doing up in the night? It's just certain points of the night. I cannot sleep. I've tried everything. Edible. Like, and you're just next to me in bed sending me memes to wake up to. And the meme was like, um, I wish my friends did hair and nails, but all they do is suck dick. <laughs> Well, I mean, Rhythm does lashes and she waxes. She's in Miami. <laughs> and, waxes. She does everything. and every time I ask her to braid my hair, she'd be like, Ugh, again? <laughs> I'd be like, if only I knew how to I braid. just feel like as a woman, how you don't know how to braid your own hair? Aren't you black? I was a man. <laughs> Look, where's your card? Where's your card? Bro, you <laughs> I was a man. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't Those get when people can't do their own hair. Can you braid? I can't. I can braid other people's hair better than mine. Mm. Oh my God, is that like a little music note in your ear? Yeah. For rhythm? Yeah. That is cute. I just got it. My cousin named Lady, she got a little ladybug. Oh, that's cute. Mm. Lady? Oh, that's cute. I love lady. that. I, I love, love that name. name. Lady. Jinx. Pinch poke, buy me a cup. Nobody says that. <laughs> Save that country shit for something else. But wait, so wait what are we talking about? The, talking about? Wait, talking about the pros and never cons. <laughs> cards. Like, we just we just realized we had to really work again. Yeah, I was like, wait, oh, I forgot we have. Wait, so wait, do we do the pros and cons of living like? I think a pro, the pros oh. and cons of living alone versus living. Have you ever lived with a man? I have twice. Twice. Yes. I have once. Once. Yeah. I have once too. Well, once long term and once like a couple months. No, not a couple months. Like two months. Maybe you're yeah. saying though. I'm not gonna lie. Bail. Yeah, yeah. I would. I don't think I want to do that until I'm married. Yeah, really. I need yeah. to. I need to figure. I need to live with you a little bit before I'm married because I, I need to know. Yeah, because there are going to be things that mm. you will not live, but like I need to be staying with you yeah, for I a need to good see. amount of time. Just vacation with them for like a month, and you'll know. Yeah, like shit like that. Yeah, yeah. like oh, I just be at my man's house for like a month here, and then I go yeah. home for a month mm -hmm. there. Like, also, I was just thinking, like, if I get into a relationship and like it's getting to that serious point. I don't want to move into a man's house. I want us to get a new place. Yeah, mm. I agree. I'm kind of dealing with that right now <clears throat> with Evan. I'm like, we've been we've been mm -hmm. dealing with each other for a long time. I think it's time we need to take another step. Like, mm -hmm. if I'm not going to move to New York, I know, right? I'm about to get pregnant. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh, yeah. If y'all seen her TikTok, I took the pregnancy <laughs> test. It was negative. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> I was looking a little sad. I'm not sad. I was just like, oh, love him. Every that time I take a pregnancy test and it's negative, I'd be a little sad. Yeah, I'd be like, oh, man. But I'd be ecstatic. <laughs> there are times where I'd be like, all right, yeah. good. I can keep on rolling. <laughs> but, like, I'm like, we're in this place. It's almost three years now, like, four years to get knowing each other. But, like, it's we need to make a move. And yeah. I'm like, if I don't move to New York, I, that's why another thing that's, like, honestly giving me, like, I could get another apartment that mm -hmm. would be comfortable for both of us. And he pissed me off. I don't know if I should be telling this right here. Well, but he like, said something about your house? No, no, no. He loves my house. Oh. He wants me to stay. He's like, you have a good relationship with them. Yeah. It's, it's economical. Yeah. He's been, being a logical <laughs> man. She got cheap ass rent, y'all. In exactly. LA, that's a hard find. Wait, exactly. So why it's in don't rent control. you move to uh, New York with him? I don't want to just yet. I want, she and don't want to live in New York. And he says mm. that. he He's like, you don't want to come out here. I'll tell you, I'll take care of everything. It's a good bargain. But I don't mm -hmm. know. But she it don't is. have no friends out there. Most importantly, I'm here. I'm and no, we started like the podcast. Yeah, it's just a lot going oh, yeah. on. All her friends are in LA. Yeah. Exactly. And it's just like, I know eventually I don't mind moving to New York. But mm -hmm. I'm at that place where I'm just like, all right, if I want something better, I want it kind of like for both of us. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I don't mind living with the man, basically. I just mm -hmm. want... I'm just, whatever. And also, I mean, it's, I'm sure it's a good feeling to, like, have your man in the house and feel like I'm safe, yeah. I'm protected. Because being a woman and being single, living by yes. yourself, it is scary. Like, you have to, all, Rhythm just was staying at my house for a couple days while I was out of town. And it she was, was like, I Them little was random scared. creeps will have you, like, 
She's like, I was so scared in your house. Like you're, it's, and I'm like, I remember when I first moved into that house, I was scared mm -hmm. as fuck too. Like I for sure was. Lindsay, she living in a big old house. She be scared every other day. She be like, she's literally, and she lives there by herself. She's like, I just feel like a little princess in my castle. Yeah, that's, that's why how I felt at yours. Yeah, that's why you need, that's why I had, at this place that I got, it's like I knew I had to get a weapon because yeah. I'm just, especially after the whole incident, I was like, nah, there's no way because like I need to be on my toes. Yeah. And there's so much space. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, in that's, your crib. Also, that's Somebody could thing. be hiding in the other room. You never yes. know. Well, I know what be in my rooms and shit, but no, it is hella space. <laughs> and I'd be like, damn, do I need this much space? But then I'm like, okay, eventually I want to have a mm -hmm. kid. Maybe I'll want this place in LA. Mm -hmm. I don't want to give it is up. Is it rent controlled? Your, no, because my rent just got raised $50. That's good. Because some places <laughs> be raising it like $250. $50. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was scared because they're like, do you want to renew your lease? And I was like, oh, shit. What they going to raise my shit to now? Because, you know, LA, they be doing too much out they here. They do. They do way too much. I That's was like, happy it was only $50. Yeah. Yeah, but I kind of want to move. I do. I kind of want to move. I is really yours do. rent controlled? Hell yeah. My rent been the same Her for five rent years. Is three cents. <laughs> Her rent, her rent is a sack of corn and a cow. That's why it's so hard to like really, because it's comfortability, but I also feel like new levels. And I, I mean, the more, the I, get, I want to get out of my comfort zone. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I just want to get you out of my comfort zone. You say that until you have to pay four or five thousand dollars a month i'm not paying four or five my rent i'm i'm saying my limit's still gonna be like 23 oh okay 24 25, 25. but when looking i was like all right i could do 28 yeah you gotta push it a little bit yeah you got to yeah but who did you stay with oh this is years ago this is when i was like 19 you know my oh, boy yeah, i read it in my your boyfriend book. who used to beat my ass Didn't i read you it in my yeah, book yeah, I did, I did. yeah that's another thing when you leave when you live with a man he starts beating on you <laughs> oh my god that's it's scary. Not funny it's not funny it's not my trauma is not funny it's not damn it's not. i look wide in this blue i ain't never wearing this color again <laughs> but nah yeah when i was like hella young i lived with somebody but it was annoying and then he the girl in my bed mm -hmm. <gasps> yeah that's the most disrespectful while i was at work I'm, i don't know if i wrote about this in my book i don't remember but basically it was this girl that i'd already been beefing with i didn't like the girl her mm -hmm. name is mariah that shout out to worse. her he messing with the op girl it was a I didn't fuck with it. She, it was her, and then she had this little like white best friend. The white best friend's name was Rachel, right? So I'm at work. Rachel, one day. you big white fat nasty. Bitch. No, seriously. <laughs> seriously. So you guys, I'm at work. <laughs> I'm at work one day, and I got into it with some random girl over a customer, right? And they have like this, like they had like this group of that they were all like hella tight knit and like me and this is when I worked with Dom. Me and Dom were strippers mm -hmm. together in Vegas. This is when we first like became friends. Love wow. Dom. Yeah. And the bitches basically like were, I was going to damn near fight one of the girls. And they all circled me like they was finna jump me. And then one of the bitches was like, that's why your niggas getting fucked right now <gasps> in your bed. And I was that's like. That's how you found what? out? I was like, what? I was like, what the fuck? Like, who was fucking my man? So I'm like, hold on right there. Yeah, I'm confused. So bitch, I'm like, wah, 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 wah. let's drop the last topic. Bitch. What are we talking about here now? <laughs> so they're like, yeah, that's something you need to figure out. You're damn right it is. I'm out of here. <laughs> Bitch, I hopped in my car at the time. What what kind of car did I have? Bitch, I had a Toyota. Bitch, I hopped in that Toyota. Bitch, I was going 200 miles per hour to my mother's house. Oh, my God. Skirt up to my house. He's there. He's kind of like shook. Keep in mind, this is before, like, you could share locations on the iPhone. This is, like, before deep, deep social media shit. So, like, you know, mm -hmm. bitch, I bust in my house. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, there's nothing really going on. I go into my bathroom, which me and him share, and there's a tiny bit of pink Lip, pink mac lipstick on my piece of toilet paper and i said whose lipstick is this and he's like what you did your makeup in the bathroom and i said no i didn't i did my makeup in the other bathroom there was a bitch in my bathroom in my house so she probably did that on purpose girl she did she left the shit on yeah. purpose she left like a little mark for me to no. find <laughs> on purpose you did that? No, well, girls do that though. They'll no, leave I a be bobby pulling pin out my hair. hair. I be pulling out my yeah, lashes. Yeah, stuff like that. Leave shit. Leave shit for yeah, a girl to find. Yeah. So I'm not even saying that. I'm questioning. Him. I'm like, who the fuck was in this house? Before he even says anything, or I find out, he gets a call on his phone from the white bitch Rachel, her friend, and she's like, "Yeah, if if Winter wants to have smoke, like it could be whatever." So that's in my mind. I'm thinking it's the white she was just my man because mm -hmm. she heard from back at work oh yeah. winter just skirted up to the house to go catch mariah in the bed her mm -hmm. best friend is calling thinking i caught her yeah i didn't even catch the bitch so she really snitched on herself by mm -hmm. calling and he answered the phone and i'm like put that 
talk on speaker. Mm -hmm. And she's like, it could be whatever. It could be up with winter and blah, blah, blah. So this whole time I'm thinking it's the white girl, right? So like, I want to say like two weeks, two weeks or a month go by. Mariah has not come to work. The, the, her it's best friend, Mariah. yeah, her best friend has not come to work. Neither one of them has come to work, so they're mm -hmm. ducking me like crazy. And we go to this fucking like show. It's like some show in Vegas. I, me and Dom go to the bathroom. I don't know if you guys know Dom, but shout out Dom. Me and Dom go to the bathroom. Dom texts me when I walk in the stall and is like, Rachel just walked in the bathroom. Oh my god. Rachel just walks in the bathroom. I when I tell you I beat the brakes off that. Bitch, oh my god. And as I'm beating the brakes off this bitch on the bathroom. Floor. She's like, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. It was Mariah. It was Mariah snitching oh, on her best friend. Oh my god! Snitching on her best friend. I was like, so Rachel was doing it with him, or so I snitching on her? But she snitched on her best friend while I was beating her ass, bitch. I'm talking. I had this bitch her fucking hands and knees, oh bitch. Oh my god! Like girl, begging. I was about to go to jail and hell. I was like, I was about to go to jail. The security came in. I was like, I'm so sorry. I thought it was you. I'm I sorry. Know. Please don't press charges. <laughs> <laughs> they like another day diamond in it. Uh, girl. Diamond in who the other girl? Diamond and Diamond and Players Club. Whatever. Yeah. What was her name? Ronnie. Ronnie. That's hilarious. Listen up, you white mother. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what but was that your... was the only time I lived with a man and he <laughs> a bitch in my bed. That was what was so your stripper name? My stripper name? Yeah. My first stripper name, name was Charlie. <gasps> my cat! <laughs> yeah. My first stripper name was Charlie That's from, cute. from Charlie Baltimore because I had uh -huh. red hair. So mm. Charlie Baltimore. And then I had a stripper name Tropical. And then Winter became my just name that mm. I just went with all the time. Mm. Like I just. It was when just I was funny. young, I was like, I had named myself Dasani. <laughs> what? <laughs> Not Stop you me. had in mind what you were going to like <laughs> setting yourself up for failure. <laughs> One time when I was staying with like a guy like, you know, like slowly like moving in, moving in a little bit like piece by piece. He had, had, I'd had like all my stuff, like my, my gel, all my girly hair products, all mm -hmm, my stuff mm -hmm. was in like the drawer, like on top of the counter where you could see like all of my stuff. Yeah. And I remember one day, like probably like three weeks later, I like came, came back home. All of my stuff was gone. Mm. I was like, what? Where did <laughs> like, <where'd> my <laughs> things go? He was like, oh, I just uh, put it down in the, uh, underneath the sink because I was like, for what? Right. And I, I knew. I knew that he had got caught up then. I let it slide. And mm -hmm. like later on, when he went to sleep, I was just like, I'm about to, I'm about I was to beat his ass. ass. Yeah, <laughs> That's how it be. As soon as you live with a motherfucker, they. It's ne it's always yeah. something. You ever wake up confused, huh? You never went through that rhythm? Yes. What happened? What? <laughs> no, I lived with a man and he cheated on me like a hundred times. A hundred? It was bad. Wait, yeah. is this? you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wait, so you knew every single time? Yeah, because I was in his business. I knew his <laughs> passwords. I, I had his iMessage on my laptop. Girl, I was I was in everything. Yeah. I would bleach his clothes. Oh I would never do this again, yeah, obviously. No. Yeah. But you like, learn your lessons. You were young. Yeah. I would. Mm, mm -hmm. I remember one time I cut. <laughs> what? I cut every single pocket, pants pocket of this guy that I was talking to. <laughs> <laughs> the, the back of his pants pocket because he was showing his ass and like <laughs> He was getting ready with his homeboys, and he put one of them on. Because we had just, like, he ended up getting all his stuff out. Mm -hmm. And so I put his, all his shit in the bag, and I was like, here, have all your shit, blah, blah, whatever. Cut all the pants pockets out. He was putting them on to get ready. His homie was like, hey, yo, why your ass out? <laughs> and he called me, had me on speakerphone. I was like, because you were showing your ass this whole time in a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> Look, this is a great idea. Somebody write Gosh, this down. Somebody write this down. <laughs> it reminded me of that when you said bleach. No, the ruining, I the only time I really like ruined something, it wasn't well, no, I probably ruined a man's stuff too. I can't think of it. Oh no, I've done that. But <laughs> I remember this girl my ex was like continuously cheating on me with this girl and she had left a spend the night bag at his house hidden in his closet and I mm. found it and I destroyed all her stuff. I all her stuff up and then eventually me and her ended up having a conversation and he was and she was like, Yeah, and he told me how you stole all my stuff. I said, Stole <laughs> Tore that shit to pieces. You like, think I was a bomb? I'm talking mustard, ketchup, bleach, cutting yeah. shit up, breaking glasses, doing. I was a psycho. I used to do shit like that. And shit. I left a yeah. note on it. I said, "You can have that bird, bitch." Wait until I exhale. I'm burning the whole car. <laughs> <laughs> Just psycho stuff that I would never do again. Now that I'm thinking about it, now I've had. I literally have you ever had a man like come and stay with you? Yes. Mm. Like, be a bum and just, like, slowly bring all of his shit, like, slowly pack his No, not like that. <laughs> like, bring, his little, bring his little pe PlayStation 2. No, that is crazy. Like, getting comfy. Yo, that's I a hobo that sexual. Like, yeah. Yes, that's a, that's a <laughs> pandemic going around in L.A. right yeah. now. It's a couch surfing. Yeah. It's crazy. I wouldn't, I would never let that slide. That's I'd be so nice. I'd be like, all right. Now. Yeah. I ain't saying all right. You got to get the 
out of here. I don't yeah, like now, yeah. men in my space for mm-hmm. too long. No. Like, even if I really love you, you got to go soon. Yeah. Like, go. Yeah, I like having my own space, too. It just gets to be too much. I don't freaking know. Speaking of relationships, <laughs> this week. It's a lot going on. It's a lot going on. In divorce court. It is. <laughs> Jeezy and how do I say her name? Jeannie. Jeannie, Jeannie May. Jeannie May. That's your cousin. Yeah. Also, <laughs> no, she's, she's not Japanese. <laughs> is she Vietnamese? Yeah, she's Vietnamese. I'm literally just kidding. How can you oh. not tell Asian people apart? I can because I'm can. cultured. Me too. Period. Um, but <laughs> Jeezy and Jeannie May and Iman and Tiana Taylor in divorce court, it is going down, y'all. It is going down. How do y'all feel about it? I already know how Rhythm feels about it. Well, how do you feel? I don't know. How do I feel about it? So how I feel about, <laughs> I, I've been seeing, a, I mean, I think marriage is really covenant, and I think it's a thing where two people. Boo! Actually, <laughs> <laughs> what? She tried to get deep. <laughs> I was, I knew she was going to do that. That's what she knew. She did it right at the perfect time. But um, I do, I think it's something like, I mean, my parents have been together all of my life. They're still together. They've been married damn near 40 years, mm-hmm. and it's just like, I do, I, even at times where they probably could should have been a little divorced at certain <laughs> times. You never know. But, like, they stuck through it, and mm-hmm. they're, like, the ha- like they're the sweetest couple. Like, they're so loving and just, mm-hmm. nur- like, just, I feel like there's so many levels of a person that you yeah. have to go through. Mm-hmm. And I don't always think the first thing is divorce. And who knows what they've gone through. I know they've only been together two years, but sometimes it's just a real tussle. And they say yeah. the quickest way to be a single mother is to have a black baby daddy. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you say no, that? A real African American experience. I'm crying for the real experience. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know why anyone would make a joke like that. That is such a stereotypical thing that holds the black community yeah, down. No. I mean, and I wouldn't. <laughs> I, I really only met my daddy a couple of times. So I'm just <laughs> <laughs> uh, my daddy been around. But no, that's how I, no. I feel like there's a you. You have so many different levels to grow with somebody, and I just feel like. I don't know. Can I, I tell you what I shit. feel bad about the situation? What? I feel bad that she is the genie. How do I say her name? Yeah, genie. Genie. The genie girl is getting so much shit. And so I, I tweeted this on Twitter because so many people have so many racist jokes mm-hmm. yeah. about like her getting a divorce. And I'm like, y'all don't even know why they're getting a divorce. And like, it pisses me off yeah. how people are just so openly racist to Asian people and will not bat a eyelash yeah and it's just like y'all are clowns like mm-hmm. it's hypocritical as f- bro and it's sad because she's going through this divorce and so she's getting dragged on twitter yeah. for it and the jokes don't even be funny they be like, terrible it be terrible jokes like it could have been funny but it's not funny it's like, not funny. i don't have a tweeter what did they be saying they just like give me an example of one that okay so the one that i had responded to was like it was a low main one yeah a low main I like what it was. she needs to leave that main alone main <laughs> that's horrible some shit. Say that. it was just some dumb shit but i kept seeing hell of them though yeah. i kept seeing hell of like Race and then I tried to say something about it and I was like, nobody thinks it's weird that all yeah. of these things are hella racist and yeah. people are like, Well she said when she was like said that one thing about I like my dark meat on the side. Y'all know damn well that woman is yeah. not racist. She said yeah. some stupid shit. It got twisted up yeah. and now yeah. she's racist and that yeah. gives you an excuse to be racist to her? No. Quit trying to nitpick for that with that girl yeah. and try to find an excuse for you to be ignorant because that's f-ed up. What I feel bad about is that she like how happy she was when she first mm-hmm. when she first got with him and how publicly just like she put her relationship and this relationship on a pedestal she changed a lot of her ways she had openly admitted that she had you know like anger issues or just mm-hmm. a short temper and like how she was working on all those things it's just like damn you go through all yeah. of that to still just like get minimized to just yeah. be divorced after that you know it just sucks when you're in the public eye and you have to go through that type of scrutiny yeah. I just feel like you never knows what goes on behind closed mm-hmm. doors. Yeah. So it's like we can see all the stuff on social media, but we like y- y'all don't know them personally. Like right. you don't mm-hmm. know what's going on. Yeah. So it's like That's all this hate. I feel and bad jokes for both and, of them though. Yeah. I want to yeah. say, and yeah. it's not. I'm not just nobody goes in there. Yeah, I'm not trying to like take her side and be like, oh, we should like feel really bad for. her. I think it's just sad for them as a couple mm-hmm. that they yeah. are getting a divorce and they're yeah. not going to be together. Hold so on. what? You really never know what goes on behind the likes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that that point in a movie when they have to say the title. You never know <laughs> what goes on behind the likes. <laughs> da, da, da. And then there's a theme song. 
We it's true though. Theme song. I, I remember I told you the one that I think that I think that we should do the the Cardi and Megan Bongos, and she was like, "Wait, I remember." She said, "Go ahead, don't forget." She said, "She said, she said, show me real love. Give a fuck about them likes." <laughs> yeah, because we get real love behind them. By the way, Ev oh, can I say that? Oh wow, what? that was good. Yeah, exactly. And we should show up saying, and we can. I, we should I was start gonna twerking. no, we do want a little like theme i want like a little cute theme intro like a cartoon drawing of us with a little theme song or something i can mm -hmm. probably do it no you can't I'm graphic she designer. thinks she could do everything on canva if it, if it, come, <laughs> if it comes She's to some damn canva, canva, canva oh we're on uh, this. we're on did this. you guys make this who did that who did? we both did oh, yeah, that we did, we did make this did. ourselves she, she found all that stuff. we just we pieced it we worked so hard and pieced it together so they probably gonna yeah. be like we can tell y'all did it <laughs> Yeah, I could like, tell. Yeah, oh, yeah, we, you could tell? Yeah. Uh. We're getting roasted. <laughs> You're cut. Cut the cameras. Get this out of here. <laughs> You're never coming back. You're never coming back. <laughs> I love not having yes men as friends, though. Because I was thinking about that today. I, I was thought like, it was, I thought this was this cute. This is hella cute. You don't think this is cute? <laughs> Are you serious? Seriously? No, like, it's cute, but, like, you. <laughs> Fighter! <laughs> Beat her ass. It's cute, but uh, what? You it's cute, but what? It's, <laughs> it's cute, but what? Tell us in the comments. <laughs> we didn't even <laughs> ask you. <laughs> when I saw it, <laughs> she said, mm. I was like, I think they need a new logo. What? Oh my God, we love this. Erin, do you love this? It's like just bubble letters that you drew in like high school, you know? That's the whole vibe, oh, like a burn okay. book. Oh, see, you Behind should explain the that. Now it's cute. You know what? Well, one thing about you, you're not. So how about that? Yeah, you. What's in your damn logo, Rhythm? Where are your logo? No, What's actually, on your YouTube? You know what? I have a degree. Cute, um, um, yeah, she, she does have a good vibe. I have a marketing and advertising degree, so. Ooh. Ooh. We'll put it to I you to know. help us stop it. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know what? Y'all should have asked me for more. Add to the help. Add so I don't be doing good. If you need anything else, though, I'm open to help for sure. We well, don't need now you. Now we need you to make Apparently. No, this is no, our brand. We were trying, before we even did this logo, I was like looking around trying to hire people to do our logos mm -hmm. and like they were, Nothing fit. it was not working out. Mm. It, and I was like paying them money. We were paying yeah. for it. So I was like, uh-uh, we need to just figure this out. We and where were you finding them though? Fiverr. Fiverr. Things like that. No, Etsy's yeah. really good though. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah but we There's did. There's people we on did Fiverr really good too. <laughs> so. We did amazing. So first of all, go to hell. But anyways. But anyways. <laughs> Yo, now that you po pointed that out, I'm just never going to get over me saying, but anyways. But anyway, I never pointed it out. What's wrong with it? I so what, what is my transition word? Imagine like a journalist be saying like in the middle of a conversation. Yeah, but anyways. That would be, anyways. Me. That would be me on the news. It's 56 degrees outside. But anyways, but anyways. there was a murder <laughs> yesterday. <No. laughs> Look, that would be me like a lawyer. Judge, you wasn't even there. <laughs> You wasn't even there. You don't even know what you were talking no. about. No. No, that's funny. Should we do the advice segment, though? Yeah, I found one. Uh, is let's this see. good? Yeah. Yes, it is. The, first of all, yeah. the girl, she commented on everything. She was like, you didn't read all of it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry to the girl whose last sorry advice Sorry to you, baby did. girl. We love Can you I still. read it? Yes. Hell read no. It. <laughs> After you just roasted our damn logo, now you want to read our advice. You coming in trying to take over and change shit? Nah, you know, um, in class when... That one person reads and you're just like, just give me the shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. Reading hella slow and shit. Like, that'd be shy. Like, no. I was about to say, I think that's shy. <laughs> Wait, is it? <laughs> and know, I'd be like, can I read crazy? this week? And she'll like, no. Wait. Okay, well, I'm about to read right now. I'm sorry, Rhythm. Um, because I'm about to show you. But you know what's crazy? I'm actually a very fast reader. Like, I'll read a I book read fast too, in yeah. a day. Wait, do you, wanna, do you want me to show you how fast I am? No, I don't. No, watch. Just watch. Uh, look how fast I can read it. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong? They're like, another one. <laughs> I'm going to try my job. Intro, personal shit, including rhythm. Current talks, two women running down to hell. Read article. All of us discuss the person. Read the advice. <laughs> what the fuck? We're sober, by the way. <laughs> yeah, we are sober. Yeah. We're very sober. They're going to think okay. we're on drugs. <laughs> All right, now I got to eloquently uh, enunciate everything. Go ahead, dear friend. I have. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Please. Okay. <clears throat> Let's talk about the Patreon first. 
Oh my what god, y'all. Sh- okay, so so we didn't really get into our personal week for real. So Winner yeah. shared some tea on there. So it's gonna be some girl talk oh, some tennis I lessons. Yes, yeah, some tea that I didn't just share yeah. is on the Patreon. If you want to go subscribe, please go subscribe. Like we said, we need the money because we want to keep this going for as mm-hmm. long as possible. And it will be at the bottom of the link. Yes. I don't know if she can do that on link. YouTube. But the link will be in the bio <laughs> for the Patreon. The and we just went and played tennis. We had tennis lessons. So we will post clips of that on mm-hmm. our Instagram story so you guys can get a little vibey IB. But if you want some see, go click the link. Go click the link. Did device. you guys get a lesson? Yes. Yeah, a private yes. lesson. I you didn't see my, me post on Finsta my little cute oh, yeah. tennis she, outfit? She said you play rhythm. I mean, you play tennis. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I started playing tennis a couple months ago. It's really fun. I love it. It is. I yeah. liked yeah. it. Okay. I was like, yeah. I could do this, like, yeah. for real. I'll give you an outfit. But now I'm I don't have job. a tennis partner since you're not moving to L.A., so. We should, we should do okay. it. Yeah. We can. I live yeah. right next to you. You don't want to do it. <laughs> I do. Okay, <laughs> so this is the advice. <clears throat> I have been dating a guy 10 years older than me. 37 and me 27 for a year now and everything was good until his dog bit someone in the <laughs> what sorry shit this is the one i had <laughs> wait what i can't find the other one what? everything was going fine until <laughs> scrappy Doo got a little crazy yeah no this wasn't the one that i really wait originally wanted. speaking of <laughs> y'all know i almost got attacked by a dog today yeah literally i was coming home from the airport and a German Shepherd ran into my freaking garage and tried to attack me. And Rhythm was at my house and I was screaming. I and got she was so like, What's scared. wrong? I thought somebody was attacking you. No, I literally thought someone like bum rushed you into your garage. And the fact that you thought that and didn't even come downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about that in the shower. <laughs> I was on the couch like, What? What, what happened? I was, I was like, thinking about I that go? in the shower. I'm like, Rhythm just said she thought I was getting attacked. That no, bitch didn't even come down no, the stairs. No, but you immediately was like, What is that? <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> Please. That's me having an attitude. With yeah, all that's me. Oh, <laughs> that is so ugly. Can you please read the advice, Sean? Damn, it wasn't. So there was one. There was another one. I forgot the girl name, but I'm going to just read it off of memory. She basically was just like, her and her man have been together for four years. They're 31 now. And this was for, like, in the beginning of their relationship, she had went through his phone recently and found out that he was sending, like, her nudes to, like, his homeboy's group chat. Like, <gasps> Which was, and she was just like, I really, you know, like we're engaged now. I don't know where to go from here. I think it's like extremely disrespectful. I don't know if I can move past it. What should I do? Bro, and that's it was a violation. Yeah, that's, that's it's, a vi- it's a violation for sure to me. I'm like, so you wouldn't leave your man? That's some little boy shit. Yeah. It's some r- literal little yeah. boy shit. If Evan were to do something like that, I would have a hard, deep think about it. I would leave. I would leave for about a week or two. I, I don't know. I'm just like, don't ever do it again. Send your for, nude photos. Okay, okay, okay. No, that's a because no. like I feel like we're four years in. Normally, why do you keep saying four years? You guys have been together for two no, years. She and said, some change. She said no, the girl no, no. was four years. Oh. Wait, I feel like a normal quick. man in she a relationship. Get away! Stop! You're gonna give somebody. Who guy. No, I didn't. Shy. He's I'm gonna just kidding. fart on the mic just... and give the next person pink eye in the. <laughs> In the studio. That's how I had pink eye at one time. I don't. I'm just kidding. No, she got that from trying to eat Evan's ass from getting advice from me. <laughs> Taking sex advice from me, bitch, gonna have you deep in a nigga booty. <laughs> He's never let me go in his ass. I would <laughs> never do that. You are crazy, Miss Booty Eater over here. First of all, I've eaten three Quite butts. a few asses. <laughs> three too many, bitch. I've been in relationships. But what does this smell like? What ass? I ain't needing no dirty booty. Her nose be so far up that booty hole. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not eating no ass if it has an odor, bro. You know if a man's butt is going to stink if his balls stink. Do you True. spread it? No. Or, just, or they put they their, legs their legs up a they little. They put like this? They lift their legs up a little. Oh, am I wet? What? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm like sweating. <laughs> yeah, you're a little wet. You're a little yeah, wet. Yeah, she's a little wet. So, no, okay, maybe, okay, <laughs> I don't know. If I, I don't think some, if I, uh, <laughs> what? I'm, I'm like I'm I, in that situation where that happens to me because I am in a relationship. I'm like I don't. I would be so like me. You do this to, like I because I knew I loved. I loved. I this sounds crazy, but I really was obsessed with Evan. So I they've never seen his dick. You know what I'm saying? But I have never. sent. I have sent. She has tried to show me things. No, I have not. I, <laughs> no, no, no. I have sent previously before. I'd be like, oh, look at this guy's dick. You know what I mean? I have, yeah, but not not my you know man. I mean? But not my man. Yeah, man. exactly. But then you don't know if he's gonna be your man. Yeah, that's yeah, what, so that's do. what I'm saying. So what no, you, really, you don't. What because you, I have shown y'all, I knew, I've shown y'all pictures well, of people's dicks and my sex tapes that I may possibly or may not have. 
But I don't know if they're you show be my them man. all, even if they are not. I do. But I yeah. just feel like a normal man in a relationship. Why would why they would want to show their yeah. woman to yeah. their friends? That's weird. I know a guy who does that. He'll make pornos with girls and send it to people, and he's rich as fingers crossing that he did that shit to me because I was gonna sue the brakes off him, <laughs> but I couldn't find out. So only if it's public, right? Like, would they? No, you can get in trouble if you like send that shit to anybody. Oh, I think. really? I think so. It's oh like revenge porn. And it also shit. is a difference between like showing somebody and be like, oh, look what this girl just sent me, and then like actually. But like, like sending, sending it to a it group chat, yeah, it's, it's crazy. different. It's different being like, look at this bitch, like yeah. she's fine as fuck, and sending yeah. it. That's yeah. different. So I will, I will take a step. Up. Yeah. No, I'm breaking up. Break up with him, girl. No, just honestly, I don't know. It's confusing to me. I mean, so y'all break up? I don't know because I'm not in that situation. Yeah, yeah. so it's hard. It's easier to just Said be like I would none. leave, but yeah. like yeah. you never know like the circumstances. That's true. Exactly. And I've taken people back for worse. Yeah. Exactly. So, so you really never know. Yeah. But what should she do? What should she do? Is our advice segment good? <laughs> we do we try? ever give good advice on the advice <laughs> segment? Now that I think about it, I'm a little sweaty. I too. think every <laughs> episode. <laughs> I think every episode is like, well, I don't know. She well, I don't know. She, she, uh, she going to do what she going to do. <laughs> right. Like, I don't what know. What I said is that, you know, honestly, it's something that should, he should be reprimanded. Yeah. Like, yeah. like pop fake it a little bit. Take the ring off. I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do that. Or, or large shopping spree would I might forgive you if we're already engaged. Yeah. I might just need some money. Because you never know. Situation in the beginning, it is some yeah. bullshit. But like, I mean, yeah. it's just like. I, like, I want to know the reason. I want to know the message yeah. attached to it. Yeah. What was he saying with the yeah. picture? Like, yeah. Yeah. I need I think, to know more. I think we need, with the advice segment, we need details of everything. We want to know yes. the backstory Maybe from she 12 years ago. Details. Well, I forgot them. But. <laughs> right. Maybe she did give us details, but we had to. She's gonna remember. come in and be like, "Bitch, that was me. You said it wrong. <laughs> you said it wrong again." Right. Okay, we're working on it, guys. But please, I know that our advice just sucked, but you know, just still send in advice and please get detailed with it because <laughs> clearly we have a problem giving good. We it is the blind leading the blind here. So how are we supposed to guide all of you? We're trying. Bitch, we don't know. We only been out here three days. <laughs> <laughs> but send your advice to beyond, behind the likes pod at, on Instagram. Yes. DM us and label the first thing with advice. Yes, and advice then we'll from there. so that we click it. So and we, we click know. it and we know. But, but thank you for tuning in to another episode of Behind the Likes. See you next week. Thank Bye. you, rhythm. Oh, did you want to shout anything out? Bye. Oh. Did you want to, where they can follow reach you? Her follow her. Oh, yeah. Follow me on Instagram, rhythm.g. I'm on YouTube and TikTok. Purr. 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 Yeah, she's she's a YouTuber too, y'all. So please go subscribe to her channel. Come on. Because, you know. Subscribe to our Patreon. We love you. See you Bye, next guys. week. Bye, See you next week.